have been away all weekend, so I haven't really had a chance to film anything properly. Uh, so today I thought I'd take advantage of just showcasing a house that I absolutely adore. Uh, most people who have interacted with me in the last sort of 18 months on Instagram know that <clears throat> that anything by this house I pretty much rave about. Uh, there are some in the house that I, I don't necessarily love, but most of the fragrances, it's fair to say that I would be happy if I could have full bottles of all of them, but I don't really need full bottles of all of them. And the house is Ormond Jane. This is, I don't know what it is about this particular house, but the fragrances in this house just speak to me and I know that it's it's not everybody loves this house and um, a lot of people feel like it's a bit overrated but I don't I think his fragrances are absolutely stunning the house has actually been around since 2001 uh, they are a London based perfumery and the really interesting thing about this house is all of their fragrances feature quite a very strong or a very large amount of perfume oil. Um, so they, they are, the fragrances are very long lasting. And in fact, if you spray them on your skin, you will notice uh, you will have a, a layer of, of oil um, actually sitting on your skin. You can see it. So they are incredibly long lasting fragrances and um, they are just without being sort of overpowering and too strong. Uh, and I just, I just find them to be absolutely stunning. So let's get on with it. Today I'll be talking about, I have one full bottle here, uh, which I will talk about in a little bit. And I also have uh, a travel lab here. So these are bottle, these boxes look a little bit washed out just because of the lighting here. But in fact, they're, they're really beautifully bright orange boxes uh, so quite attractive packaging as well and very distinctive in Australia we can get three different types of travel labs uh, with Ormond Jane the travel labs contain five um, eight mil bottles and they're kind of like discovery kits if you like in Australia that we get there's three that we get there over I have noticed that on the Ormond Jane website in the UK there are there are different combinations of fragrances you can get in different travel labs. And I don't know if they're called travel labs over there, uh, but here uh, we only get three. And um, I guess my only gripe with the travel labs is that one of the fragrances appears in two out of the three. So for me, I want to buy all the travel labs because I want to, I want to have the opportunity to try um, more of the fragrances and for eight mils, you know, I feel like that for some of the fragrances, I would be happy with just an eight mil uh, bottle because there's, there's no way I would get through 50 to 100 mils of all of the fragrances, uh, with the exception, of course, the, the ones that I really, really love. That, I guess that's my only gripe with the Travel Labs in Australia in terms of the range that we have is that two out of the three has... Um, a particular fragrance in it and it's not my favorite so uh, I can't even say oh well I, I have a backup because I don't really want another backup of it but that's okay so uh, let's get through it so the first one so this one is travel lab number three uh, if you if any for anyone who is in Australia and, and wondering this is number three and um, obviously there's a one and two but I don't have those yet so the first one I want to talk about is um, actually the one that I was just saying appears in the two out of the three travel labs, and that is uh, Taif, or it's Taif. So obviously it's based on uh, the Taif rose, and it's a rose fragrance. I um, have only recently started to love rose fragrances, so I find that I haven't been wearing this very much, but I have been smelling it um, more recently, particularly in the preparation of, of talking about this particular house and this, and this collection, little collection that I have of their fragrances. Um, and I am, I am enjoying it more now than I did say a year ago, but it's a beautiful, if you smell it on paper uh, or if you just smell it out of the bottle, 
uh, without spraying it on your skin. It is a really beautiful, light, sort of almost translucent rose. There's a bit of um, fruit in there. There's, I think there's some pepper in there as well. So it, the notes are actually quite light. Hang on, let me just double check what the notes are. Yeah, so the, the top notes are pink, pepper, saffron and dates. And the heart notes are rose, freesia, orange flower, absolute and jasmine. And then you have um, some amber in the base. But I really find that the pink pepper and the floral notes, you know, the orange flower are quite um, prominent, I think, in, in the opening. But when it dries down, because it does have that amber in the base, it gets it does warm up on your skin. And I find that I, that actually starts to project the rose a bit more and the rose becomes a bit heavier. Um, so where it opens as a really light sort of almost fruity rose, it starts to it when it dries down, it becomes quite a heavy rose. And I kind of struggled that with that when I first uh, tested this on my skin. So that's the Taif rose. The next one is Sarina is really, really interesting. I really like this one. Sarina is really interesting. It's a really, it's a, it's a, it's an oriental floral, but on the, on, I think it's on the Fragrantica website, they say that it captures opulence and passion and to call it a floral oriental is to misunderstand its rich complexity, which I think is so true. So this fragrance has some beautiful, interesting spices in the top. So it has coriander and cassis, um, but it also has notes of mandarin and bergamot as well. And I think cassis is actually um, drawn from blackcurrant berries or from the leaves of blackcurrant. So it's, yeah, it's really interesting, the opening of this fragrance. It's spicy, but it's kind of a little bit maybe a little bit a hint of green and I, I I'm wary of saying green because of the fact that it's not a green fragrance right so it is definitely a very opulent fragrance um, and it's quite spicy but then and and floral in the opening but then when it dries down, it becomes more leathery. So there's more of a leather note that comes out. And it, it is really, it smells really rich um, and very, I think the word on that was used on the website was regal and I totally agree with that. So it is really, it's a really beautiful fragrance. It gets mixed reviews because of that leather note in the dry down. So when you smell the opening, it sort of it does have that kind of really spicy floral vibe to it, but the leather and the dry down, um, a lot of people don't really like that. Um, and it's a suede. I think it's a suede note, not not a straight leather note. And there is a there is a point, and I kind of understand the reviews because there is a point in the mid where the leather or the suede is starting to emerge. And it's kind of it kind of clashes a little bit with the floral and the spices, but it does eventually dry down beautifully. Um, and yeah, then, then the the leather note is it becomes a lot more smoother, um, and it blends in a lot better with the the other notes. But I I do understand the mixed feelings around this one. But I think if you can just get past that, you know, just that half an hour or so in the mid where it does the where the note, leather notes do clash a little bit i think um people will yeah appreciate the dry down but if if what you really love about the fragrance is the opening then yeah you might be a little bit disappointed that in the dry down it, it changes quite a bit so i quite like that i like the fact that it changes and it doesn't stay the same um and again it's it's beautiful either way so i'll be wearing it more and more the next one <sighs> Oh my God, just look at the color of that juice. It's so, so gorgeous. This one is called Tolu and um, it obviously has a Tolu balsam in it. This one is really, really beautiful. It's really balsamic. Um, it's very resinous. It, it starts off almost with a, a sticky vibe to it and then it 
it's it when it dries down it becomes really really powdery I took this to uh, Japan with me recently on holiday and in the cold weather this thing just sings it it works really really well but it also works in the warmer weather I don't know if I'd wear it in the height of summer because it is quite powdery in the dry down but in the opening hang on, I, I need to um I need to refresh my memory yeah so in the opening it's got this uh, it's actually pretty powdery from the very start so it's not just the dry down that's powdery even just smelling it out of the bottle you can smell the powder um but it's got juniper berry and clary sage in it. And the clary sage for me really jumps out. And I don't know if that's just because I'm really familiar with the note of clary sage. I, I use clary sage oil and diffuse it and things like that at home. But I find that to be, it just cuts through that, that resin a little bit and um, stops it from being too sticky and too cloying. But, you know, it just just lifts uh, the fragrance a little bit it's just not overly heavy and I think that that gives it an element that allows you to be able to wear it um, probably it makes it more wearable throughout the the year it also has um, Moroccan rose orchid and muguet which is I think Lily the valley in the in the heart and then in the base is the tolu um, balsam you've got tonka bean uh, golden frankincense and amber so yeah it's very ambery very resinous um, but those floral notes and that clary sage I think just really just help to lift it and the juniper berry too so anyway beautiful beautiful fragrance totally rated I would totally go a full bottle of that this is Vene di Iri or if I'm going to just say it with my Australian accent just vanilla iris <laughs> Um, and I really like this one. This almost has a fruity note to it. It is, a, it is effectively an iris fragrance. I was really surprised. I didn't know anything about this particular fragrance. The more I wore it, the more I really, really started to love it. And I think because I, it's really, it is a really great work fragrance, I find. It's very understated, but definitely still has a presence. The top notes are bergamot, Peruvian pepper, coriander and carrot seed and then in the heart notes you've got iris jasmine magnolia and osmanthus so I think it's the osmanthus that's sort of giving it a bit of that fruity vibe you can definitely pick up the carrot seed as well I have a carrot seed oil that I I had a while ago um, years ago I don't I don't know if I even have it anymore it's probably rancid by now even if I did have it but I do that that smell is definitely present here but I have a couple of other fragrances now that have carrot seed in it and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a very odd kind of note, um, but it seems to work really, really well. So, um, And then in the base, you have a cedar wood vanilla and Tahitian vanilla. So I really, really enjoy this one because it doesn't, it, it doesn't go too sweet, but it is just a really beautiful, elegant fragrance and you can wear it every day and you could wear it all year round and it's it, it's perfect for just about every occasion I think and then last but not least um, definitely not least because well least in this in the sense of how much I've got left in the bottle but um, not least at all in terms of how much I love this fragrance this is Ormond Woman sorry I'm just refocus it this is Ormond Woman and this is quite a popular fragrance from the house of Ormond Jane. Most people talk about this one. Stunning, stunning fragrance. I, you know, for the given my inability to settle on a particular signature scent, I think I did say either in one of my previous YouTube videos or it might have been a story on Instagram that if I was going to have a signature scent, I think this could pro possibly be a a very well the contender I don't think I can think of any other fragrance that I would be I could potentially wear every day um, I do as it is I wear this several times a week and I'm, I'm happy with that and I really like that um, and that's more than I wear any other fragrance so I've only had this travel lab for a few weeks and already I've nearly gone through that eight mil um, and I will say that for the 
oil concentration that's in here in these fragrances to get through that much is quite amazing in that amount of time so how would I describe this fragrance I would say that it is a very mysterious fragrance I think um, it's spicy and resinous and hang on I want to smell it again a little bit woody as well um, and the the base of this fragrance or I think there's a DNA to this house um, that is present in most of their fragrances and um, yeah I feel this just works all the time for me it doesn't matter what mood I'm in if I don't know what I want to wear I, I can put this on and I just feel like I've made the right choice it is just an absolutely stunning fragrance in the top the really th the thing that really jumps out at me is the cardamom um, but it has something called black hemlock in it and I don't know I don't know what black hemlock smells like but I imagine that it's pretty prominent in here um, but the descriptions I've seen of black hemlock in terms of how it smells is that it's very hypnotic um, so I don't know I just oh, I don't know it's dusky and it's woody and it's spicy and it's mysterious and very womanly and I, I intriguing I just feel like you know I feel like a, a mysterious intriguing woman when I wear this fragrance um, and I just find it it's a really sophisticated scent and I will never ever get sick of this fragrance no matter how much I wear it clearly because I've been wearing it a lot so when I get around to upgrading to a full bottle um, I think I will be going for the 100 ml which is unusual for me I would never aim for a 100 ml bottle of anything these days but that is definitely one that I'm going to want a big bottle of because it is just absolutely stunning um, it's my fragrance that's all I can say that's it for the travel lab really so the next one I want to talk about is a full bottle so that's the packaging if for anyone who's interested um, and it sort of just flips up and then you have the bottle that just sits in there like that so this is Sampaquita or Sam well it the this is called Sampaquita but it also gets spelled Sampaquita I think um, this was actually a bit of a surprise purchase <laughs> I went into the perfumery on a really really hot day and um, I smelled some other fragrances in the house and for some reason on that particular day this is the one that was jumping out at me the most it's a really fresh sort of I and mean, I don't mean fresh as in cologne fresh but it just has this beautiful fresh scent to it um, so it's based off the Sampaquita flower which is um, jasmine sandback basically and when I first read about Sampaquita um, I thought oh, I probably won't gravitate towards this fragrance very much because if it's got jasmine sand back in it then I'm probably not going to like it that much because I immediately thought of alien and I thought I can't I can't do alien it's too strong it gives me headaches um, it's just not it's just not my vibe but this smells like nothing like alien <laughs> so <laughs> rest assured it's fine if you don't like alien it's not going to affect your ability to like this one or not so Sampaquita is actually um, the, I think the national flower of Philippines and um, it is just it almost has a fruity vibe to it this is a, it's a really light you I would have thought that this would be quite a heavy fragrance because of the jasmine sand back in it but actually it's not heavy at all it's it's quite light um, it's a little bit airy a little bit fruity it's got lychee in it yeah so the head notes are the top notes are lychee grass oil bergamot and magnolia and then you have in the heart the Sampaquita absolute freesia uh, muge rose and water lily and then in the base you've got musk vetiver moss and ambrette seed so um, really it's not too heavy at all it doesn't even really have an amber base to it but 
the floral notes are, are incredible. So I like the fact that it's got floral notes in the top as well as the mid. So I find that that just really helps to elevate, um, I guess, the, the floral aspect of this. But it doesn't smell like a garden, okay? It smells like a tropical holiday, I guess. <laughs> but it doesn't, without the coconut vibe that you often get in, um, in, in tropical sort of holiday smelling scents. So uh, look, it's, it's, it's almost a juicy kind of um, jasmine or a juicy kind of floral fragrance. And uh, yeah, it's really, really stunning. So as I said, I bought it on a really hot day and um, I like to wear this to work uh, when it's hot and I want to feel good all day. All I can say is that this smells, when I wear this, it, it feels, and actually it's the case with most of the Ormond Jane fragrances, is there's just something about them where it just blends with your skin and it just sort of, it smells like it's part of you. As though you know you're wearing perfume, but it, it's almost like you can't pick where your smell ends and the perfume starts. It just sort of melts into you. And um, I think that's what I really love about the Ormond Jane fragrances because that's, that's the vibe I get from all of them, actually. And I feel like it makes me feel like I... I smell better <laughs> and it's not just the fact that I've spritzed a perfume on that smells. I feel like it's my scent that's mingling with the fragrances and yeah and I'm not being overpowered by them. So anyway that's just how I feel about this house. Uh, I cannot rave enough about it. I really really love these fragrances. I know that not everybody loves them. I know a lot of people really dislike the, this house and some of these fragrances um, but I, I just think they're incredibly stunning. So anyway, that's my little review of Ormond Jane fragrances and I hope you learnt a little bit more about them and um, uh, if you do come across them, do, you know, take some time to get to know them a little bit better. All right, have a good day, everyone.